In this video, we're going to solve uh, two problems about uh, finding an equation of the tangent line to a curve at a given point. Let's look at this uh, first problem. So find an equation of the tangent line to this curve G at x equals positive 1 given that f of 1 is 5 and f prime of 1 is equal to 6. So to find an equation of the tangent line, we need to know the x and y coordinates of the tangent point and the slope of the tangent line at that point. So we know already the x coordinate of the tangent point, x equals 1, and the y coordinate of the tangent point is just the function value at x equals 1, g of 1. And this is equal to cube root of 7 plus 4 times f of 1 and f of 1 is equal to 5 so this is a cube root of 7 plus 4 times 5 which is a cube root of 27 and this is equal to 3. Therefore our tangent point in this case is the point 1 comma 3. Now let's find the slope of the tangent line at this point. So we've learned already that the derivative gives the slope of the tangent line at a given point. So let's compute the derivative of g. So our g of x is equal to cube root of 7 plus 4 times 7x. And this can be written as 7 plus 4 f of x raised to 1 third. So applying power rule with the chain rule, we'll get the derivative g prime of x. And that is equal to bring down the power. So you have here 7 plus 4 f of x raised to subtract 1 from the power. So that is negative 2 thirds times the derivative of the base, which is equal to 4 times f prime of x. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line at the given point is just equal to the value of this derivative at 1, at x equals 1. And this is equal to 1 third times 7 plus 4 times f of 1 raised to negative 2 thirds and then times 4 f prime of 1. And plugging in the values of f of 1 and the f prime of 1, we'll get here 1 third. So you have here 7 plus 4 times f of 1. So that is 4 times 5. So that is equal to 20. And then raised to negative 2 thirds. And then times 4 times f prime of 1, which is equal to 6. And this is equal to, so we can cancel the 3 here. So that leaves 2 there. And then we have here 7 plus 20, so this is 27, which is equal to 3 cubed. So when you raise that to negative 2 thirds, you'll get there a 3 raised to negative 2. So this gives us 4 times 2 is equal to 8. A 3 raised to negative 2 is just 1 over 9. So this is equal to 8 over 9. Now that we have already the slope and the tangent point, we can just use point-slope form of a line. So using a point-slope form, we'll get the equation of tangent line. Equation of a tangent line is you have here y minus y1, the y-coordinate of the tangent point, equal to the slope, 8 over 9, and then times x minus x sub 1, which is the x-coordinate of the tangent point. And if you're asked to write your answer in the slope intercept form, y equal to mx plus b, then we can also write this one as y equal to 8 over 9 times x, and then minus 8 over 9. And then you have here the minus 3. So moving that to the right hand side, that will give us a plus 3. And 3 can be written as 27 over 9. So we can also write our equation as y equal to 
8 over 9x and then plus 19 over 9. So we can have this equation here for our tangent line or we may also have this slope intercept form for our tangent line. Next problem. So let's find again an equation of the tangent line to this curve here at the point 0, negative 1. So we know already the x and y coordinates of the tangent point. So we just have to find the slope and then after that we can already determine the equation of the line. So to find the slope, we have to compute for the derivative. So we're given the curve sine of y plus e to the x equal to x e raised to negative 2y. So to find the derivative of y with respect to x, we apply implicit differentiation. So we're going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So the derivative of sine of y plus e to the x. And then that is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the right hand side x e to the negative 2y. And when we differentiate this, this is derivative of sine u. So this is our function, which is a sum of uh, two functions. So the derivative of sine u with respect to x is cosine u. So that is cosine of y plus e to the x times the derivative of u with respect to x. So the derivative of this sum here with respect to x, which is equal to what? Let's use y prime for the derivative of y with respect to x. Plus the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Equal to the derivative of this product here. So we have to use product rule. So this is equal to, we may first take the derivative of the first factor. So you have there 1 times e to the negative 2y and then plus, copy the first factor, times the derivative of the second factor. And the derivative of the second factor is what? e to a function of x. So the derivative of e to the u is e to the u, which is e raised to negative 2y, times the derivative of u with respect to x, the derivative of this one, which is equal to negative 2 times the derivative of y with respect to x, so that is y prime. Now we solve for y prime here, and when we multiply this one with this, we'll get uh, cosine of uh, y plus uh, e to the y, and then times uh, y prime. And then when we move this uh, product to the left hand side, we'll get plus uh, 2x e raised to negative uh, 2y, and then times y prime, equal to, so this one here is just equal to e raised to negative 2y. And then when we multiply this with this one and move the product to the right hand side, we'll get here minus e to the x cosine of y plus e to the x. And now we factor out the y prime on the left hand side and we'll get here the quantity cosine of y plus e to the x and then plus 2x e to the negative 2y times the quantity y prime which is equal to this right hand side here. So therefore we can now write our y prime as so that right hand side divided by this coefficient of y prime so we'll get this y prime here which is equal to this expression divided by cosine of y plus e to the x plus 2x e raised to negative 2y. Now let's find the slope of the tangent line at the given point. So the slope of the tangent line at the given point is equal to of course the value of y prime when xy is equal to 0 comma negative 1 and this is equal to you have e raised to negative 2 times negative 1 so that is e squared and then minus e raised to 0 so that is equal to 1 times cosine of negative 1 plus e raised to 0 so that is cosine of 0 
which is equal to 1. And then all over, again, cosine of negative 1 plus e to the 0. So that is equal to cosine of 0, which is equal to 1, and then plus 0. So this is equal to e squared minus 1. Therefore, what is an equation of our tangent line? If you look at the given tangent point, it's actually the y-intercept of the tangent line because x is equal to 0. Therefore, we can use the slope-intercept form of a line and we get y equal to m. Our slope is e squared minus 1 times x and then plus b where b is equal to negative 1. So this is minus 1. So this is an equation of the tangent line.